Hey guys, Luke here again. Um, today I thought I'd give my vacuum table a, a proper test and actually mill some material on it. And I've uh, just done one part and so far so good. So pretty psyched about that because uh, I kind of was half expecting it to break the seal and then lose vacuum and everything would just fly everywhere and it'd be a total mess. But success. So I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like. Um, while it's milling. It looks pretty good to me. Uh, the part has a better surface finish and I don't have to clean it up afterwards, so that's awesome. Best work for me. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, so I just finished a second batch successfully and I'll show you how they come out. So I'll just lift off the, uh, the material there and I'm really happy with the outcome of that. Now I, there's really very minimal cleaning up that I have to do on those parts. Um, as you can see they're, they're really stuck on there with the vacuum. So um, basically I'll just turn the vacuum off and then remove the legs. Uh, the reason I turn the vacuum off first is to stop any debris being uh, sucked into the vacuum hole. So I'll just flip that off now. And no more vacuum. I can just lift these off. And yeah, I'm really, really happy with the, the finish on that. Um, yeah, so there you go. One vacuum table complete. Thanks for watching guys. Um, I'm going to be making a few more of those knobs later on, so you might see a video uh, relatively soon. Uh, I'm going to try and punch out a few more quality versions of that with all nice chamfered edges. So stay tuned, and I'd love to hear your comments and uh, feedback and any tips that you might have as well, because uh, this is all just a learning curve for me. Okay, cheers.